no long intro, Sebastian Maniscalco. I was sitting in my house a couple weeks ago, just relaxing. My doorbell rang. This is weird. It's a different feeling when your doorbell rings today opposed to 20 years ago, right? 20 years ago, your doorbell rang? That was a happy moment in your house. It's called company. You'd be sitting there on a Thursday night watching TV. Your doorbell rang, the whole family shot off the couch. Oh my God! Put the lights on, somebody's here. We got people. I, the whole family went to the door. The kids were in socks, they slid up to the door. I still do that. <laughs> Nobody looked to see who it was. All right, you just opened up the door, you were like, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Look at who's here. And you'd ask him, what the hell are you doing here? And the person would be like, I was in the neighborhood. Oh. I thought I might stop by, see how the kids are doing. They're like, oh, come on in. We're going to have some cake. <laughs> Your mother had a little Entenmann's. What is that? Be some Sara Lee crumble cake. Oh, OK, OK just in case company came over. <laughs> she made an announcement when she bought it. She's like, listen, nobody touched this cake. This is for company only. Those crap muffins, those are for you people. <laughs> Better hope to God somebody comes over so we could cut the cake. <laughs> put her cake in the middle of the table, proud of it. And right? she put it right in the middle. Cut yourself a slice. My cup of coffee, we're gonna do co want some Sanka? My grandma always has Sanka. Yeah, that's old school. <laughs> a lot of the young kids are looking at me like, what is that, an iPhone app? <laughs> what the hell is Sanka? <laughs> Your mother had a tin. Brown and orange tin of Sanka, ready to go just in case the company. She put a big pot on the table. Go ahead. Nobody had a cell phone back then. If your, cell, if your, if your, if your house phone did ring, your father stood up and said, nobody get that phone. We got company. <laughs> and you lost track of time. Two hours went by. You were like, we got to get out of here. Said, That's OK. Next time we're going to come by you, be like, yeah. My door's always open. <laughs> now your doorbell rings? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Your own mother's crawling across the kitchen floor. <laughs> get down my army crawl. Army crawl, get in the closet. <laughs> Go get the sword in the living room. Somebody get the sword underneath the couch in the living room. There's a sword. <laughs> All right, you have to turn and ask your family, you invite anybody over? You invite anybody <laughs> over. <laughs> There's always that person upstairs that didn't hear the bell. <laughs> they come walking down. What the hell is going on? Get the hell down. Somebody's outside. <laughs> They're at the door. I think they saw movement. <laughs> oh, God. I got to open it. I got no cake. I got no sink. I got nothing. <laughs> got nothing for these people. You can't stop by anybody's house anymore. If you do, you have to call from the driveway. Or before. <laughs> You're like, I'm here, can I approach? <laughs> it's me and three other people. We're gonna walk up three. through the side. <laughs> Is that your mother with a sword? Why does she have a sword? <laughs> Hi.
I'm liking Sebastian Maniscalco more and more. He's always jumping around and using wild gesticulations, which is a value add for me. It's really the delivery with this guy. Also, that was really lighthearted, so I'll link you to his YouTube channel down below. But while he was speaking, I almost felt a nostalgia for something I hadn't truly experienced in my youth. I grew up in a time where people were already calling before they would just show up at your house. And when the doorbell rings now, I can definitely relate to just staring at the door and trying to rack my brain of who that could possibly be. Unless it's 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on a business day and I'm expecting a package. Because I know for sure it's not a neighbor coming over to ask for sugar or milk, as they do on the TV. I don't even know the majority of my neighbors' names. When I see them, I just give them a wave and a smile, and that's the extent of our relationship. But when my dad tells me that when he was growing up, ice cream was a nickel per scoop, and seeing a friend was as easy as riding your bike over to little Johnny's house, knocking on the door and asking his mom if he can come out and play, I almost feel envious. I know that ice cream per scoop part had absolutely nothing to do with what we were talking about. I just think about it sometimes. But I wonder if friendships were closer in the past when people would get that face-to-face -face interaction more often, or if they're deeper now, that we can see some people's seemingly every move on social media. Now, that obviously depends on the person and their age, of course. I think the ability to go over to someone's house unannounced nowadays has a lot to do with where you live, whether that be the city, county, country, etc. And I have absolutely no evidence to support this claim, so feel free to weigh in. But I suppose if you live in a walking city or a small town, there's more of a likelihood that someone would pass by if your house is en route to wherever it is they're going than if you live in a really spread out area that's automobile focused. And that's probably an anecdotal assumption because I have lived in cities where walking was a big part of the custom. And if I did pass a friend's house, I might call up to their balcony and see if they're home. Maybe we would have a coffee, but that's a big maybe. I would still probably text before I even got there. And then again, I've lived in cities that are really big where residential areas were nowhere near a shopping area, so I wouldn't just pass by their house unless intentionally going there. So let me know if you live in a place where stopping by someone's house unannounced is still a custom. Other than that, I honestly can't think of a literary recommendation for you today. But if you can think of a comedian that's similar to Sebastian Maniscalco in the light subject matter and observational comedy, please let me know their name down below. Uh, I would say link it, but YouTube's really weird about what links are accepted and what links are marked as spam. So a name's fine. Other than that, this was a quick one. That's all I've got for you. So thanks for watching with me.